All right, let me get everybody to stand up. And we'll just start playing with the energy here. Stand up like I am if you can. Now I'm activating this biointrinsic resonant energy. This is something I developed and took me all my life to develop and I'm still modifying it. I'm locking into the quantum universe using the magnetic fields of my higher brain functions. They're controlling between my head and the quantum universe and sending the signals out. You stand there and you see what you feel and what happens. Do not close your eyes. I want you to get very aware of the sensations that are going on around your bodies. But I'm trying not to give you any power or suggestion. You just notice what's happening. On my end, as I learned a long time ago as a young kid, I learned how to change the polarity fields from DC negative to DC positive and do that at different frequencies. So that's what I'm doing on my end. What are you picking up on your end? We'll discuss more here in a few minutes what I am doing. I just want you to get locked in good. Plus, if any of you that are out there are hurting or in pain or anything, this is just kind of a pre-starter to get your healing mechanisms functioning properly. All right, now I'm gonna intensify a DC negative field and I'm gonna hold it instead of pulsating it back and forth like I've been doing up till now. So here is a steady DC negative. And I'm holding it, trying to, and when I try, I'm going to for about 30, 45 seconds. A straight DC negative. All right, I'm letting off of it. Now I'm reversing the polarity. And all of y'all out there are feeling these effects before you're hearing me tell you on the video because there's a time delay. So there's a DC positive field and I'm cranking the amperage up. I'm holding a straight DC positive field, focusing it into the quantum universe. You're hearing it through this audio and the video and aware that I'm doing stuff. So you're opening the door on the other side of the quantum universe where you're at. And so you're receiving now the energy transferences that I'm producing. And remember, I'm not healing nobody. All I'm doing is activating the healing mechanisms built into your operating systems. All right, I'm going to reverse it, go back to DC negative. That's a DC negative right there. Now I'm going to crank the amperage way on up. Now 
Now I'm going to let go of it, change it to DC positive. All right, let go of it. Now I'm letting it zero out. Now I'm going to set up a scalar wave. Scalar waves have a different effect kind of than what I was doing between positive and negative. So to separate the scalar wave, let's just say right or left. So I'm setting up a scalar wave that is right. Now I'm letting off of it. So about the time you get the sound, you've done let go of the feeling. Now I'm flipping the polarity, and this will be left. This is a left scalar wave. I'm crank the amperage up. Now I'm going to let go of it. Now if any of you got vertigo or balance problems, this uh, left-right scalar wave is what you want me to do to you. Uh, here's the right scalar wave. Letting go of it. All right, letting off of it, letting it clear. Now I'm going to reactivate. To do the positive and the negative, really, I'm using both sides of my brain and charging the field energy in it, focusing it outward. To do the scalar waves, I only use one side of my brain and leave the other side neutral. I know how to switch between right or left side and control the pulsating magnetic fields within each side. All right, locking it back together. Here's a DC negative. All right, let loose of it. Now here's DC positive. All right, let loose of it. All right, shake it off for just a second. Let me turn this around, sit down and chat, check it out, just to make sure it's still working. Oh, and I guess I didn't turn it on to record. Just getting it reset here. Yep, didn't have it recording, so I'm starting the recording. All right, hello everyone again, and this is in the recorded version. I didn't have the recording part on a few minutes ago when we started, so we have now. So in the future here, you can look back at this recording and feel the effects of uh, what's going on. Uh, those of you that just experienced it, uh, will get, well, it's probably saved there on Facebook. So we'll see what happens there. Maybe that recording saved there. Anyhow, I'm Ed Edwards and, uh, I'm doing biointrinsic resonant energy. This is an energetic, uh, healing modality that, uh, was really created by the ancient ones. 
I'm kind of a descendant, uh, American English and Cherokee with a trace. And in that bloodline, uh, I've got extra abilities that I've known about ever since I was a young child. And by having it as a young child and growing up with it, my brain developed different than the average people did. Average people never activated their higher brain functions and they still don't have them functioning. Most of them don't. With me as a young kid, I was knowingly playing with the DC positive, DC negative fields, having fun with, fun with it, using it with my friends and in other various uh, locations in school and church and stuff. So I played with this energy all the time. Uh, these doctors that study me now say that because I played with it as a child and as I grew up I continuously played with it that my brain developed a little bit different than the average people. Mine developed operating fully functioning with all the different systems in it being charged and polarized and having energy flow through it so that made me a little bit different. Now, when I was a little kid, pre I remember other kids that could do things like I'm doing. But by the time we got in about the first grade or before we got into second grade, they all had stopped it. Basically, it had gotten beaten out of them. Uh, or, you know, that's how the organized uh, religion, whatever else, uh, have control over people. This is something that everybody should be playing with, not just me. But anyhow... I am here and I am doing it and I can light everybody up on the planet with it that's aware of me in real time and in these recorded sessions. So even if you don't participate here in the real time, you can come back and look at these videos on YouTube and benefit from the effects of the energetic uh, stuff that I'm doing. All right. Uh, oh, I don't guess I told everybody to sit down. So, I mean, you can sit down now, hit a recliner, uh, get your feet up off the floor, and I'm going to set up some energetic waves that will run all over the whole planet, all around, and into everybody that's aware of it. So kind of sit back, kick back, you know, rest a little, put your feet up. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to set up a plasma wave. The plasma wave will probably start affecting you through your feet. Oh, turn your hands upside down. Lay them on top of your legs. Let them totally relax. Let your fingers go totally limp. And watch your fingers, kind of, you know, while watching this or so. I'm going to send pulsations generated by the my higher brain functions. I'm going to send them out, hit the quantum universe, and send them in and then hit them to you and see if I can wiggle your fingers. So I'm going to give it a few moments here for the delay factor to catch up, so the explaining, so you all know what's happening. Turn your hands upside down, lay them on top of your legs. Fingers are totally limp, and watch them. Here come the pulses. And I'll do this for a couple of minutes so the time delay will cover it, catch up. Watch your fingers. Here we go. I'm wiggling them and twitching them. And it's funny, some of them will wiggle sideways and all kinds of funny stuff. Now those of you watching this in real time, I mean not real time, but in recorded, in the future, the effects should be in instant timing, real time. It's just here when it's live that we have this delay factor that people may not, well, they're picking up on the sensations before they hear me telling about them. So I guess that eliminates the power of suggestion just a little bit. I'm going to shut up here and focus on this and send these pulses through your nervous system. Wiggle your fingers. Here they are.
There you should be feeling the pulses in your fingers pretty good. Now I'll focus on the contraction movement. Notice how your body's warming up. Turn your head for me a little bit. Let's loosen that up. While I got this energy flowing in you there, it's, it's working in the whole body. I have to keep checking this thing, make sure it's working, right? You're also noticing the muscles up and down your back are releasing, smoothing out by now. Let's see if we can tell what's going on people-wise. All right, we got 19 of us in here. I want to see if we can get over that. I know it's short notice. on turning the amperage up right here. You're feeling it before you hear me tell you about it. As this should be causing your body to tingle stronger. Increasing the amperage and things like I do and is something I learned a long time ago, but it took working with it most of my life to be able to increase the amperage. Like lifting weights, except in lifting magnetic fields. Oh, y'all get as many people as you can if you haven't already to sign up as a subscriber to my uh, YouTube webpage and uh, lock into my ededwards.com webpage. I do private sessions and uh, send me emails and I'm trying to get caught up. These holidays mess me up a little, but uh, 
I do private sessions by donations. I'm working on trying to figure out a good way to have feedback where I can read a text messages or something, but I'm limited to what I can do, so I'm just winging it here. But I do know with what I can do that a lot of you are feeling it good and strong. Let's see what our time is. I've got it at 8.21. Let's take a quick little break. Shake your hands. Shake it loose. You're probably tingling and warm all over right now. Take a sip. That might have loosened up the, uh, you know, so do what you got to do for a moment or two. We'll do a few more gravity waves here in a few minutes. I'll set us back up here. Uh, standing up and uh, push and pull you around a little bit but I'll explain it now instead of just having you without knowing what's really going on so let me find a better way to uh, rig my lighting up and uh, chunk a little more wood so y'all yeah, just kind of check things out a minute Overlook my shop. Maybe I'll turn that light down. Maybe that's not enough light, but I'll add something here. go here. But I don't know if any of you got any aches and pains, you're feeling better. Let's see what that does to it. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Alright, everybody. Back in there. A couple of sticks of firewood on there, but don't hurt. All right, stand up again. Pull your feet in. Just stand there, I'm starting to resonate the energy fields in my head, locking into the quantum universe. I 
Remember, you really shouldn't close your eyes. If you're not feeling it, close them for just a few moments, but be ready to open them up when you feel yourself being wobbled around. a young kid, oh, five, six, seven years old and stuff, that's when I learned about the polarity fields in my head. I'd sit up in the balcony of our churches and uh, look down at the main congregation on Sunday and learn that if I held a DC negative field, it made people kind of pull backwards, that kind of like it was being pulled on. And I could hold a DC negative field and Make them slide around on the pew a little bit. I sit up in the balcony. I was just a little young kid, but I was playing with these energy fields in my higher brain functions. I didn't let those that were in the your teaching, education, religious things. They they tried to tell me I was imagining things all the time, but I kept looking back at them, said, "Nah, I'm not imagining anything. It's a shame you don't know anything about this." So I just went on through life and let, made sure nobody convinced me that I wasn't doing anything. But sitting up there in that church balcony, I just pull backwards on the people and you can see things happen. And then after a little while, I'd flip the polarity and push on it. And then when I'd push on it, I'd hear a little, you know, finally got where I could get several little, out of it when I'd switch the polarity. You know, I was seven, eight years old. You know, that's funny as a kid sitting up there in the balcony and two, three hundred people sometimes down there below and it's awful quiet in the church and then you start pulling backwards on the juice and then you just reversed it. You got a, you know. I didn't know back then that doing that stuff in church and in school and classrooms and growing up was going to get me to where I'm at today, where I get to use what I learned back then to take pain out of people. That learning how to do those polarity fields back and forth as a young kid were very important in the development of my higher brain functions. This is something that I'm doing should be taught to every kid that's born, no matter where they're at on the planet. They need to play with this stuff all the way up through life so that we get this stuff back into our civilization like it was before it was stripped from us. Oh, uh, I doubt if they got anything in Area 51 as near as wild as what I am. So, uh, let's have some fun with this stuff. Alright, I'm just going back and forth with it. All right, now here's a DC negative, strong pull. So I'm gonna pull forwards on you. And I'm cranking the amperage up. So I've had scientists for many years trying to study, figure out how I do this. They still haven't really figured it out. They just document knowing that I am doing stuff. That's DC negative. Feel that pulling you forwards? All right, I'm letting off of it. Now I'm changing the polarity fields in my head. That's why it used to make a few people fart down there, but it doesn't if it will now. It should just push you backwards. So here's DC positive. That's DC positive. Now I'm letting off of it. Like I said, if any of you hurt, by now you're warming up pretty good. I know that. Everybody else I do that to gets pretty toasty by now. So here's negative. That's a strong DC negative field. Imagine Jesus was doing about the same thing way back yonder in his day and time. 
He just didn't know how to explain it. And those that wrote about it didn't know how to write it down. Now here's DC positive. Alright, let loose of it. Now back to negative. Alright, now let's let loose of it, shake it loose. Now I'll set up the scalar waves. To do the negative and positive, I was using both my brain and changing the polarity fields. Now I'm going to set up a scalar wave where I'm only going to use one side of my brain, leave the other side of it at neutral operating, and then I can turn the amperage up on one side at a time. Well, those scientists back there in the 90s decided that when I did that and the signals they were able to pick up when I did that, they called them scalar. So, whoops, i got to keep my computer from going to sleep. There it is. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to power up one side of my brain at a time, and we'll call it left and right. Basically, I'm going to fire up my right side, but it should pull all y'all to your left. That's kind of a looping effect to it, so see if you get pulled that way. I was doing it to you earlier. What I do in my mind is generate and project a magnetic system that's over to the side of you, and then I power that system, and it works like a magnetic field that draws you. So that should be pulling you to your left. All right, I'm gonna let off of it. Let this side, my right side of my brain, calm back down, and then we'll power up the left side and leave this side neutral. letting off of it. Any of you got vertigo or balance problems, that there stuff will work over that good. Straighten it right out for you. Alright, I'm going to activate the right side again. Power it up. Pull y'all to your left. Now I'm just slowly cranking the amperage up. Remember, I'm doing that in my brain. My consciousness is controlling my brain, conducting it, and causing it to power up in these different ways. Now I'm switching back, I'm going to power my left, pull you all to your right. All right, I'm going to let go of it. Now I'm going to connect my head back together, my brain back together, power it up, and pull y'all forwards. Doing that with the DC negative field. Y'all should be warming up really good by now. I bet a few of you got to sweat. Now here's the positive field, DC positive. Alright, back to the negative. Okay, letting off of it. Now let's get rid of any of that neck and shoulder tension you might have. 
Hold your hands kind of like you're holding a basketball out in front of you. Go in and out just a little bit. You'll pick up on a magnetic field, an energetic wave that I'm projecting out at you. In and out. You'll feel that pressure build in there. Your fingers should go to tingling and feel all electrics filling. Hold it right there. Don't move your hands. Keep them right there through the next few processes. All right. Now turn your head left and right for me. Keep turning it on a level plane. Left and right. You're going to do this for about 45 seconds to a minute. By now you're hearing some good crackly crunchy sounds. Keep turning. That's working like a grist mill, grinding up all that neck tension you got there. If y'all people sitting down, y'all can do it too. Back and forth. You feel it. Alrighty. Now then, now you stop it, drop your hands down, roll your shoulders out. Roll them around, roll it around good, stretch everything. Raise your hands up yonder, move them around. Alright, that should have loosened things up. Pull your hands back up into the basketball, roughly size, pump it a couple of times, and turn it back and forth now. See if it's a little looser in there. You can do a couple of sets of that with me every now and then, and uh, it'll loosen you right up. All righty. Getting warm in front of the fires. So let me... Slow that thing down a little. All righty. I got a little toasty, of course, I was standing in front of the wood heater. Let's see how we're doing on time. Perfect. It's like 8.38. Let me check my systems, make sure everything's running and streaming. Still just a one-man band here. All right, we got 23 people now. This will be great. Well, we can advertise it and everything. I can put several thousand people or better in here, unlimited. So once we get the numbers on up there above 100 or so, 200, um, the energy as a combined system intensifies for everybody. Really neat how it does that. Alrighty, let's see here. Chill out a second. Let me cool off. See where we at. And I wonder. Can't do that. I'm just messing around here for a second, cooling down. get something rigged up here. All right, that should work. people. 
sit down there in your chairs, hold your hands like this right here, kind of like you're praying or so, move them back and forth just a little. See if you can get used to that feeling. Something you need to be able to do. Just keep moving your hands back and forth right there. While I'm sitting here playing with the energy, even though I'm not directly focused on you, you'll pick up on this energy in your hands. Your hands will feel magnetic, heat, tingling sensation, uh, different things. Just kind of get used to it. Real fun to play with, especially if they've never had it before. I'm trying to find something. Let's see. something. See if this plays. No, I don't need that. All right, people. You should be feeling a good tingling magnetic sensation in your hands right there. Now I'm going to send some energy fields through it that should warm you up all over. out let the fingers curl a little bit. Kind of look toward a darker wall in the background. When I'm doing this just right you may see a little plasma stream jump between your fingers and you'll feel the electrical tingles in the fingers. Leave the fingers if you can just kind of limp like that and when I do the pulses just right Let's see if I can, when I wiggle mine, if you feel there. Yeah, right there I'm getting the signals back. You should be feeling that in your fingers. Real interesting how this stuff connects with people worldwide. We're up to 23 people now. Oops, what's say primary stream? We recommend to use a twenty-five hundred. Well, I may be a little bit blurry there to y'all. Um it's giving me some kind of crazy messages here, but that's okay. You haven't got to see me in perfect vision. You just got to be able to hear me and kind of see. It. And once we get this thing working better and, uh, I'm just using the version of this software. I think they want about $500 for the uh, main version, but it'll give me a lot more control. I've got to look into it a little bit better. All right, let's see what kind of time we're doing. It's 8.45, we got 15 minutes left on this session. Let's 
So let's, uh, let's stand you back up again. Now that you've worked with it in your chair there a few minutes, you ought to be tingling and warm pretty good. Stand back up and let's uh, do the gravity wave effect again. It's always good to play with that gravity wave a good bit. It just kind of kicks off your whole electrical system in your body. your feet in. Stand there a second. Clear your thoughts. All right, now I'm going to start resonating the field of energy. This time now, notice that it's a little bit or a good bit stronger than it was when we first started with the push, pull, left, right, the wobbling you around. You might go around in a circle or something. I'm going to just close my hands up. I don't need to be doing my hands out there like that. This is all done with magnetic fields in your mind. Uh, pendulum there getting kind of wobbled around. And that's just like a gravity wave. At about seven years age, way back there. Push and pull things, push and pull people rather. I have a fun life growing up with a toy none of the other kids have. Now none of the other adults have. But everybody should be having it and playing with it. So 2015, let's see how many people we can wake up. There we go, strong DC negative field. That's the DC negative field right there. Okay, now I'm letting off of it. Changing the polarity, here's DC positive. See, when I'm standing people up in my room, in my shop here, or in the middle medical centers or wherever I go to, especially those with cancer and different diseases and things like that in their bodies, and when I get them rocking back and forth like this, that changing the polarity fields, their bodies start attacking the problems. And I give it a little extra juice to work with. And the people start feeling better, start getting better. Their aches and pains go away.
Like I say, go join my webpage, ededwards.com, ed with two D's, E-D-D. -D. Check me out on Facebook, join me on there. And if you need private sessions, uh, send me an email at energyed at edwards.com. You'll find that all on my webpage. We'll go from there. My private sessions only take about 10 or 15 minutes at the most. You can do it over the phone, like you can feel it right here. Yeah, you can feel it over the phone too, big time. All right, let's see here. That all got it. Your attention pretty good. My computer's got it. It's warm. All right, what are we doing time-wise? Well, we got about nine more minutes. Let's see what we can do here for nine minutes. All righty. Um, well, why don't we uh, do some electric eye work? I don't know if y'all can. Uh, let's see, how can I do this? I'm not sure if this will work, but uh, we can try it. Let me pull the camera in a little closer. I don't know if the camera can, uh, no, that's probably not going to work. Let's see in this. Too bright, I guess. Nope. This won't work what I was wanting to do. Uh, if we have a much higher resolution camera, it will. But my little thing won't do it. Uh, I've learned how to project electrical waves using the magnetic layers in my eyes. I can down a person's body and you can feel the eye contact on the surface of the body or people that have like uh, lung cancers or problems in their body. I can lock the electrical field in with my eyesight and penetrate and go down inside the bodies and those areas down in there start getting real warm according to the people. So let's try this. I'm going to look into the camera really hard but it'll be like I'm looking into all of you out there. I'm going to look into your like throat and upper chest and respiratory since everybody's probably getting some colds and congestion and a few things like that going on. So see what happens in your lungs in that area. In my mind, all I have to do is generate something that looks like a mannequin and then look into those areas with a mannequin and the electrical field should copy and jump to everybody out there. That ought to be warming your lungs up and your respiratory. Oh, I'm going to be starting some long range experiments with the guys with the EEG lab. I just had an idea. Maybe I can do YouTube at the same time so that I can project on the audience worldwide and let them monitor the different effects on their sensors in the lab up in Virginia. So that's, that'll be something fun we'll get to play with. Also on near future events that I'll do in here, I'll have the CDP 
system set up and any other type of stuff. We're in the process of working on getting me a random number generator that I can have here at my office or shop that I can kind of carry with me. That'll also be a nice instrumentation to uh, demonstrate and show the uh, the ways that we can measure energy. Alrighty, let's see how this doing. All right, I got about four minutes before I can shut it down. So far, the system looks like it's doing pretty good. I am using a pretty strong amount of CPU. I've still got to find a way to reduce that. But uh, overall, looks like it's working pretty good. All right, how y'all feeling out there? That should have you warmed up doing better. Seemed like I had a feedback page somewhere. Why did I do that the other day? Comments. Oh, that's what it was. But I hope I didn't mess it up. Maybe not. Uh-oh, it has recovered. Alright, I had the wrong viewer on my end on, so I do now and I see one comment, so it must be working. I'll have to remember in the future to watch the public view instead of the other one. This thing has a learning curve, but not as bad as that pow-how was. Uh-oh, what happened to my head there? It's got the double jitters. Mm -mm. Alright, I don't know if I'm still live or not. Two minutes before I can shut it down, if I am. What's my Facebook doing? Whoops, Facebook got the double jitters. Uh oh. Oh well, I shouldn't do that. Oh, Lordy, I think I messed it up. Maybe not. I don't know if y'all can still see this in live, but all my monitors are showing a mess up. Oh, boy. Anyhow, good night, everybody. I'm going to shut it down. Right here in a few seconds. If you can hear me. Oh, it left out a video. Turn that on.